the future is going to be challenging, definitely. Uh, you know, with the uh, traffic growth in the Asia Pacific region, uh, the ANSP, the Air Navigation Services Provider, including us, CES, need to work closely together to achieve a sort of a seamless air traffic management in this region, and that eventually will help to provide uh, some sort of uh, 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 better safety and efficiency for the airlines uh, to, to operate in. The first one uh, we are currently embarking is uh, airport collaborative decision making. Now, that's initially it started off as a concept where every stakeholders at the airport, including airline, ground handlers and air traffic controllers, share data so that everybody is aware of the airport operation and they can operate more efficiently. So eventually what we're going to have is a tool for all the stakeholders to plug into and provide data and share data for them to make a more informed decision in uh, running their operations at the airport. Well, the next phase is that when you're cruising, uh, we have uh, uh, some initiative in which uh, we implement uh, automatic dependent surveillance broadcast. Now, that is a surveillance technology where it is a, a new technology which is cheaper than uh, radar. Uh, and this enables us also to collaboratively work with uh, our neighbors, uh, Vietnam and Indonesia, to share ADSB data and also improve the surveillance coverage over where we provide air traffic control services. And that in itself also contributes to flight efficiency and safety. CESA has some of the initiatives uh, to improve air traffic management as a whole, but uh, what we have here in the Asia Pacific region is also an opportunity to work together with all our uh, neighbors and adjacent uh, service provider to move towards uh, somewhat of a seamless uh, uh, air traffic management in order to contribute to that efficiency. Well, the last one that we have is uh, more of the uh, arrival phase, uh, continuous descent operations that we have. We currently have uh, done some trials over at Changi Airport. Uh, some of those trials yield about uh, a quarter of a million kilograms of fuel saving in a year. And uh, we continue to uh, look into fine-tuning these procedures and eventually implement the procedure sometime uh, in March. Well, we generally work with our customers, uh, which is uh, mainly the airlines, but definitely there's a more opportunity for us to work with also the uh, aircraft manufacturer in trying to understand what sort of uh, profiles and flight phases that can help to further contribute to uh, fuel efficiency. Now, this data would definitely be, uh, be more useful if, if we, we work closely with the uh, aircraft manufacturers.